Hi, good afternoon. Can I speak to Full Solway, please? Speaking. Full, it's Jason Curtis calling from South Africa. How are you? Very well, thanks, Dave. And yourself? Um, fine, it's Jason. Jason? Jason, yeah, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, cloth here today. No problem. Um, I actually was fortunate enough to uh, meet up with you uh, right at the beginning of the OK Computer uh, tour in Barcelona. Um, yeah. I think it was just basically, I, think it was, I was one of the first people to actually do the interview um, with, uh, All right. with you guys sitting on top of the roof of the hotel. Uh, the oh, God, yes. yes. Long time ago. <laughs> Long time ago when it was sunny. Yes, but welcome back. Thank you very much. Not that you were um, really gone for long in, in, in the true sense of the word, but um, so congratulations. Well, well, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Older and wiser for it, I'm sure. Uh, yeah. Something like that. <laughs> That's a very kind way of putting it. But um, as I said, congratulations on Kid A. Thank you. Um, have, you have you heard it? I have. Um, I've uh, been spending a lot of time at the record company um, sitting and going through the album track by yeah. track. And uh, definitely, um, I think, probably one of the most anticipated albums um, of the year. Um, how does it feel for, for you and the band? Um, well, at the moment, we're out on tour. So the, I think uh, our minds are very much on, you know, the shows, uh, which is good. It's good in a way because it diverts us from 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 the album release. Um, but I don't know, we we feel happy with the record. Um, I think for us, it's you know, it's, it's the record that we feel happiest with. We we've done. I think with uh, David Benz, with OK Computer. Um, well, definitely with Pablo Honey, I think we just tried to cram too much on them. Right. And with this one, I think, you know, we were, we were, I mean, not an awful lot went in, or the thought went into the track listing for those albums. Mm. But I think we were, uh, we felt we could afford to be much more selective with this one anyway. So I think it's, it's a, I feel it's a, it's a much more balanced album, mm. uh, much more of an overriding or underlying. Uh, atmosphere running through it. Mm, mm, mm. Because um, I think, um, obviously, OK Computer, I think, will be referenced, I think, for the next hundred years as being one of those seminal albums that uh, um, I think did a lot for the, you know, um, I think it just took, you know, each album has taken the band to a different level. Now, with Kid A, it's almost as if, as you say, this is an album that's almost as, that you wanted to make um, almost your way and do, it, and do it so that you collectively as a band could be happy with it. Um, but as I say, when, you know, the, especially with you being out on tour, the responses uh, to the tracks, say, by comparison to uh, the tracks of uh, Pablo Honey and the tracks of OK Computer, are, are, do people, um, are they picking up um, a connection between them? Edward's been very uh, has responded very well to them actually. Mm. Um, I think before we, I mean, this is the second tour we've done this year. But before we went out for the first tour uh, earlier on in the summer, I think it suddenly hit us that we were going to go out and try and play a set half of, of songs, half of which people wouldn't really know. Yes, uh, it was quite daunting at the time. But I, don't know, I think everybody, I think. I think we're lucky in as much as people who, who come to see us buy records actually come to it with a, a fairly open mind now, mm. especially after OK Computer. Mm. I think that's, uh, it's, it's, it's the attitude that I think people, um, is it, well, it, it's, people expect us to, I think, to do something a bit different anyway. Yes. And so, you know, that does, does foster an open mind, really. Mm -hmm. No. Um, whether there's any connections, I don't know. I hope, you know, talking to people after shows, I think, you know, people can definitely see uh, a progression again. Mm. Um, and, um, but 
it, it does. I mean, in, in terms of, of, of a show, it, you know, material sits alongside each other very well, I think. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, I think it's it, it, it must be an incredibly difficult job, I think, for any band to, to to bring out an album. And, I mean, each album that you have done has been so highly rated. Um, to be able to go away and actually come back with something that is fresh and is unique but is still, still, and still is Radiohead. Um, right. How has that been, you know... Um, for you, do you do you feel the pressure that um, you know that your fans say perhaps put well don't put it on you, but I think you probably put it on yourself that uh, what what will you come up with next that isn't a regurgitation of what you did on the last album? Um, I think we felt uh, uh, you know pressure quite a lot at the beginning of the recording. Um, I mean, as you say, you know, people had seen that we made leaps in between the album, well, it was perceived that we'd made leaps in between the album, in between the albums, and we knew that this album would be out for, for three years, um, after OK Computer at least, and so, you know, that would actually constitute a fairly big leap if we, if we carried on with that in, in that, in a similar vein, so I think, you know, we, there's a sense that, um, there was a lot of ground to cover, um, but because we didn't want to work with our, our old approaches, our old methods, um, we just didn't know how to get there. I mean, in one way, you know, it was quite exciting because everything was uh, open, opened up again. Everything was up for grabs, if you like. Sure. Um, and there, there weren't any limits on us. But at the same time, you know, if you, if you, you look, trying to find new methods, I mean, you do need to give yourself the, the time and space to do that. Sure. And also, you know, there, there are lots of things you have to learn along the way. So, um, at points, I think, you know, it felt as though we were tripping ourselves up. Mm. Um, and, um, but I think by the time we, we, with this album, we didn't, I think we'd always envisaged making it in our own studio, right. uh, which is eventually where we, we ended up, but that took about nine months to get there because the whole place took a little longer to put together than we'd expected. Right. Um, but, um, so by the time we got there, things were actually starting, the possibilities were, were actually, uh, well, all the possibilities weren't quite so daunting. And by that point, it was, it, it was uh, I think we had um, a rather more uh, methodical approach to things by that point. Mm. Um, you know, it, it, it was possible to sit down and try, try these new approaches, new technologies without you know, that anxiety of watching the, the studio clock tick away and you knowing that you're mounting up a huge bill. Sure. Um, and, it's, you know, inevitably you're just that much more relaxed in your own space, really. Mm-hmm. So you, you're no longer working, um, was it in the, the Apple Shack or uh, the little studio? No, not there. <laughs> so you progressed. We, we have. <laughs> We've actually got things like uh, inside toilets. <laughs> <these days. laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> um, now, as I say, I mean, you know, one can never believe the press because the press are terrible people. And I mean, you know, that coming from my lips, that's quite precious. But anyway, um, the, I mean, obviously, OK, again, going back to OK Computer was um, a phenomenally, I think, successful album as much as it was an incredibly draining time, I mean, for the band. I mean, I think for anyone who's seen uh, Meeting People is Easy um, and gone through. I mean, by the end of, of watching that video, I think uh, most viewers are as drained as the band looked. Um, but obviously a very positive time, and obviously it, um, you know, the, the band's popularity grew in, you know, to, to an even higher place. But um, it was uh, I was reading somewhere recently that, um, that Ed, um, well not Ed rather, but uh, Tom battled, you know, wasn't in a particularly happy place at the time of, um, you know, for, for quite some time, um, and, you know, to the point of recording this album. So just from that point of view, it, it comes across as, as, as quite dark at times, um, and one would think right. that on the back of having, you know, of being in such a positive place and, and, and obviously, you know, drawing in, you know, huge amounts of fans and, and being international, you know, rock stars for, for lack of a better um, word, um, that one would be in a positive place, not in a sad place. Was was that a was that completely wrong? Um, 
I think, you know, what you see in meeting people is easy. Is uh, in a way, us being shoehorned into um, an inappropriate cycle. Mm. You know, that, that, that kind of recording an album, going out touring, blah, 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 and carrying on like that. Mm. Um, and... Um, which is fine. In fact, you, you need to do that. And, sure. and, and there is, you know, a certain merit in that. But to get to a certain stage, and I think by the time that we got to the end of touring for OK Computer, I think we felt to a, to a great extent we were there. Mm. And that, you know, then we really needed to go back over what had happened since we were signed, what happened since we started, really, which is about 14 years' worth of, of, of being together. Sure. And just... You know, to try and figure out um, what things weren't, you know, what things hadn't worked and where, what would be uh, an appropriate way to, to carry on with the band, you know, what would be appropriate to our lives now. Sure. Um, and, you know, I think watching that documentary actually was is, is great, actually having that kind of document in front of you um, so that you can, you can actually say that. Uh, that is really not how we want to do it anymore. Mm. And so things like, you know, how we um, how we set ourselves up, how we work, um, in terms of, you know, breaking that recording touring cycle. Okay, we're going to do both, yep. but we don't want it so that uh, once we finish the record, which has this, you know, very specific deadline, then we know that we're going to be out touring for a year and a half. Yes. We want to be able to. Uh, m- um, um, actually mingle with two really so I mean it's the point behind getting our own studio sure and um, and also going out and touring for touring's sake mm, true we, you know we, I mean inevitably there are going to be points where it coincides with uh, uh, records being released sure but we we don't really want to approach it as you know the priority being that we're going out to promote a record mm. which I think it has been in the past it's, you know in a way it might sound a bit precious mm-hmm. but I think you know in turn I think if we go out with that attitude um, I think we you know we'll bring an awful lot more to the show that will be you know much more uh, uh, vibrant experience anyway mm-hmm. I think so it's things like that you know mm-hmm. and just inevitably you know working together for five people is 15 years mm. um, having done so from being at school mm. there you know it's a very close at points very tense relationship yes um, so you know there are things to, to realign there as well so um, as to where it's dark music um, I suppose it is at points but I, I don't think we're ever going to make overtly happy sounding music anyway <laughs> Um, and the the reason behind, um, I mean, I, I think if you know, obviously, when people hear the album, um, they'll probably understand why. But um, no singles, no videos to right. accompany the album. Um, but the beauty is, yes, you out on the road. You you're, you're going to be. I mean, you have been. So this year has been spent on the road. But no videos, uh, no singles. Um, Besides the obvious reason, any other reason why not? Um, well, the, the obvious reason, <laughs> you try and find them on the record. Yeah. Um, but the, the video, um, I, think, I mean, we're very pleased with the video, which mm. accompanied songs off the Benz and OK Computer. Mm. I think we felt as though we'd taken it pretty much as far as we could for the time being. Mm. Um, we felt as it was a, um, a tired format for us, really. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, you know, sitting down and uh, trying to, you know, model this three and a half minute piece of footage mm. where you have to somehow wheedle the band in somewhere. It's just, you know, there's only so many ways you can do it, really. Sure. Um, and so. <laughs> You know, we I think we we came got very into the idea of actually putting out these little thirty or twenty or thirty second mm. um, blips, if you like. Yes. Um, and for those, we've used um, a lot of the images mm. from from the artwork, which Tom and Dan, mm. Uh, mm. the 
uh, Stanley Donwood mm. had been putting together past year and actually had them animated. So okay. it all comes together in, um, and little excerpts from the music to, to accompany them, which will be going out, you know, over the web um, and, you know, various uh, media. Interests and and pro like. probably more representative of the songs as well, as you say, rather than just generating a video for, for video's sake. Yeah, I mean, it's because it's, um, everything's come out from the same kind of time period in, you're right, in terms of using uh, uh, the, the artwork, which, you know, has come together in, in response to music and vice versa. Mm. It's, you know, it all feels like it's part of the same project rather than saying, okay, here are the songs, uh, now let's uh, uh, bring somebody else's idea into it, mm. which, you know, might have might um, reflect the song in some way but it doesn't all come out the same pot if you like sure now I mean Kid A is certainly not a pop record um, yeah, and I think that'll probably be said more than more than a hundred times. But that's um, that's obviously where, as as you've said earlier, is that this is um, that that's where the band is now. Um, yeah. But very much, um, you know, an album that that is, I think, appreciated if played from track one right through to the end. Um, right. Yeah. You know, almost in a you know um, the, to listen if to. You've got the time. Yes, if you've got the time. <laughs> but um, very much sort of a complete work in the sense that. Um, um, but the likelihood that you'll get a number one single with this is obviously um, not really uh, that that wasn't that's not the plan no well it's not that we set out to um, say I mean it's you know the whole thing behind not releasing singles um, <clears throat> that wasn't part of the agenda when we started recording the album really it's just that once we sat down with, with the record at the end of it it was just what's the most appropriate way of actually presenting mm. what we've done mm. now and the single market just seemed so inappropriate so um, yeah sorry I think I, I, I cut off your question halfway through there no no not at all in. No, no, it's fine. You actually answered it, which is which is fine. But um, it's interesting, and I think it's a great place for you to be as a band. And I'm sure you appreciate the fact that um, that you've gotten to a place now that you can release an album like this, and you don't have people sort of tapping you on the shoulder saying, "Well, you know, we want a single, or we want this, or we want that." It's a case of that you you're, you're doing things on your terms, and I think ultimately getting um, true recognition from the from the people that matter, probably you know, which are, who are the fans. Which I think is good. Um, yeah. Um, I mean, it's, it's 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 great to see how accepting people have been uh, of um, us. You know, with OK Computer, and and, and also through um, the feedback we've had on our website as mm. well. Mm. Well, I mean, whilst we were recording the album, mm. um, actually having that kind of um, immediate feedback mm. from, from people, you know, we had our bulletin board up on there, which we, you know, you go up and, and chat in real time, more or less. Yes. So, you know, going on there and, and saying, well, we've had a shit day, or we're not quite sure where this one's going, or whatever. Mm. Just actually you know, getting people coming, having people coming back in the same, basically it doesn't matter, you know, it's part of the process really. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, you know, knowing that to a certain extent that kind of, I suppose, support is out there for us, mm -hmm. that in itself is quite liberating, I think. Mm -hmm. As I say, and I think, um, again, another album that is certainly going to, um, um, is, a, is a classic in the making for, and, and not not contrived in any way, but just because it is, just because the songs all, f all fit together so well. But how, how many songs did, did you actually have to whittle down uh, to get to, to those that are, appear on the album? We had 23 songs. And where are the other, where are the others? <laughs> around you know, we're doing well I hate to win bands do that them off. yeah I hate to win bands do that because I know they're there but I can't get them you see <laughs> um, no I mean they're, they're there and um, I mean there will be a release some releases next year we don't 
we're not entirely sure yet mm. how we're how we're going to approach that, but we we do want to release what's left over. It's whether you know there's a possibility there could be an album there. Uh, it depends whether we can actually put it together as an as an album. I mean, the great thing with today was that you could we could we had all these songs to select. Um, what was uh, a good track order from there? It's not necessarily you know it wasn't cherry picking, mm. but we were able to find the songs that sat very well together to create that that mood I mm. think mm. Um, and with the rest it's if, if we can actually you know make sense of it uh, in, in a track order then yeah then it'd be an album if not there'd be some other kind of releases sure so they're going to be they're going to see the light of day oh good <laughs> happy to hear that um Phil, i know you are um I said, i'm happy to hear that um <laughs> um i know your time is at a premium I'd, I'd just like if i could just ask you one uh, last favor um okay. if um this is going to be going out on uh, on the national uh, rock station called 5 fm um and it's going to going to be going out on a show called the night zoo um believe it or not um, the, the what? The Night Zoo. The Night Zoo? Yes. Okay. Um, would you be able to, as I say, just uh, do an ID um, for me when, when you're ready? Yep, sure. Great. Hi, this is Philip from Radiohead, and you're listening to The Night Zoo on 5FM. Superb. Thank you very much, Phil. Okay. Um, I'll be okay. getting on a plane um, at the beginning of October and uh, flying to Dublin to see your show. Um, All right, excellent. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, good choice of location. That's yes, choice. we picked that, but it took a while. We actually had the whole list and we thought, well, where should we go? Where should we go? So um, it was Barcelona last time, so we'll... Um, and, and I think that was a phenomenal gig just in itself because I think that was it was the first time you had played um, in oh I, I, I know it was about a year um, um, and I know everyone was was quite anxious on the day of the interview but um, now I'm looking forward to that I think it's going to be a, a super well, another superb show for you but are you enjoying are you enjoying the live shows at the moment? Oh definitely yeah we've just been playing in. Um Copenhagen mm. uh, for the past two nights and uh, I think you know we've got over the initial hiccups of, of putting the, the whole tent tour together yes. we're just able to enjoy the whole fact that you know we have this um, great venue and the fact that uh, you know it's our, it's our space really mm. and um, you now we really enjoyed it so by Dublin I mean we should we should be we steaming by should be cooking <laughs> You see, there was there was um, method in my madness. You see, well, I figured we'd you'd get over the hiccups, but I think I think the idea of a tent tour is phenomenal as well. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's it's we were, you know, it's, we're sitting down. It felt like quite an ambitious thing to do, but it's it's actually all come together. Mm. Um, having sat around for months on end talking about it and um, trying to visualise it, but not quite being able to do so. And then walking in, into the tent of the first day of rehearsals and seeing that it actually worked. That's a big relief for really. Yeah, I'm sure. Because <laughs> what, what would you have done otherwise? You... Um, sulked for about six weeks. <laughs> 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 uh, we'd have made the best of it. I'm sure. Uh, but Phil, thank you. Thanks very much again uh, for your My time. Pleasure. And congratulations. Look forward to you in Dublin. Look forward to it. Thank you. Okay, then. Okay. Bye-bye. Cheers, then. Bye. Bye.